Well, AstraZeneca has just released results from its U.S. Phase 3 vaccine trial. The company says it is 79% effective in preventing symptomatic illness and 100% effective against severe illness. ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie joining us live from home. And Mary, the results paving the way for AstraZeneca to apply for an emergency use authorization from the FDA. That will be the next step, Jim. And now U.S. health officials are trying to reassure Americans that this version of the vaccine is safe after more than a dozen countries in Europe put this version on pause due to concerns over blood clots. I think it's very, very uh, unlikely that this vaccine is responsible for the clotting that's been seen uh, in any respect. That's Dr. Peter Chin Hong. He's an infectious disease expert at UC San Francisco, and he says blood clots are not associated with vaccines, even historically. Millions of people have been given this version of the vaccine across Europe, and the hope is that it could give the U.S. one more option to help relieve vaccine supply issues. But there are these concerns with the AstraZeneca version. More than a dozen European countries temporarily stopped its use this month so they can investigate reports of rare but serious blood clots. That investigation concluded late last week, saying that the vaccine is, quote, not associated with an increase in the overall risk of blood clots. So Astra AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine, again, as you said, showed overall 79% uh, efficacy against symptomatic disease, 100% efficacy against severe disease and hospitalization. So those results, again, that's a U.S.-based phase three clinical trial. So based on those results, we could see that application to the FDA for that emergency use authorization within the next couple of weeks, Jim. Reporting live from home, Mary McKenzie, ABC 10 News.